FreeCAD is a powerful, free 3D modeling tool with a modular structure. This means that the software functions are divided into workbenches, which are working environments, each designed for different types of tasks. Choosing the right environment can be crucial for effective work, especially for beginner users. The first work environment worth noting is the Part Design Workbench. This is a module for parametric modeling of technical parts based on features and parameters. In this module, we can build a 3D model step by step in a non-destructive manner, meaning that throughout the entire design process, we can go back to an earlier stage and make changes. Working in this module is similar to working in other 3D CAD systems. Here, we create 3D solids based on 2D sketches and solid operations. The Sketcher workbench is closely related to this work environment where we create 2D sketches that we use in the part design workbench. These two FreeCAD modules work closely together. For most beginners, starting to work with FreeCAD is best done by getting to know these modules. Another module that allows for the creation of 3D models is the part workbench. However, in this case we create 3D models using logical operations such as union, intersection or subtraction on simple shapes like spheres, cones or cuboids. In my opinion, this method of modeling and working in the part environment offers fewer possibilities than working in the part design environment. Therefore, I believe it is better to start with the part design environment. At a later stage of learning, it is worth familiarizing yourself with the part environment, because when creating a project in FreeCAD, we can use the capabilities of different work environments within a single project. Sometimes the capabilities of the part environment may come in handy. In summary, the workbenches in FreeCAD are tools divided according to different applications. In many cases, familiarity with only the part design and sketcher environments will be sufficient. At the beginning of your FreeCAD journey, it is advisable to focus solely on these two environments and only later, as needed, to explore individual selected tools from other environments.